Tapas Magician, thank you for now becoming the greatest Pendulum FDK in history. And if you guys haven't already, go check out the combo tutorial and how I show you how to Tempest FTK with literally one servant. One servant equals FTK. And you know what? Every hand equals FTK through hand traps because our boy Jackal, my good friend, is amazing. The next coming of Kieran, Mr. Jackal King. Hey, all he needs is his queen, Kieran, and they're gonna reign on top of the Pendulum Kingdom with its god over here. So if you're excited for the new greatest Pendulum FTK in history, Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and this is the deck profile. Let's go. Y'all thought I was playing. This deck is so viable right now, it's insane. This deck could FDK through any hand. It is literally the best Pendulum FDK I've ever seen. Way better than the Starving Venom FDK with the Lyra Lust cards. It's honestly broken. And for the next week, I'm gonna be featuring this a lot because I honestly think it might just be the second uh, that Romulus is, re is legal might just be the best version of Pendulums right now. It's auto wing wing first, and if they impermanence or whatever it may be, they don't know you're playing Tempest Magician, they're gonna hand trap the Electrum or even the LP, and you don't need any of that shit to resolve to win. Like, it's honestly so viable. And in a situation where they have uh, two hand traps or even a hand trap at the right time, and you let's say they know you're playing Tempest and they save it, whatever, doesn't matter. You just put up normal the normal Pendulum board. This still puts up the normal pendulum board and doesn't use... Look, you still have so much room in the extra deck for going second. Anyways, hit the subscribe button if you're excited. I will now get straight into the, 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 the deck profile. Three Servant, three Mastery, and a bunch of draw cards. Six of them. You're playing a 34 card deck. If you open Servant, because you have look, 19 spells plus the Chrono Gas, 25. Or 22. Uh, trip math. So you play 22 spell cards, okay? 22 spells. You're gonna resolve Servant every fucking time you open it. In fact, sometimes you're gonna uh, uh, resolve it more than once if they ash it. Now, also to keep in mind, this open Servant and you just win, okay? If they ash Servant, who cares? You're gonna resolve it again. Even if not, it doesn't matter. Uh, you don't need Servant to resolve all the time. It just, you don't need Servant to resolve to win. It is so much easier to do it. It's a combo. But if you guys haven't seen the combo already, go check it out in the description below where I show a combo where opening Servant literally equals FDK regardless of your hand. Just one Servant equals 60 encounters. Uh, regardless of your hand, even if you have zero spells, just resolve the Servant. Uh, it just, because you search for two spells at the end and you get double Jackal on. So double Jackal on the Servant's five cards where you have five counters for every spell you activate. So you search two spells. Uh, so that's, uh, and there's five counters already before you pendulum summon. So there's gonna be 7500 plus Tempest Magician gets one. So that's 8,000 damage. Anyways, I'll get straight into it. Three Servant, three Chronograph, two, uh, two Cerberus. So you just wanna play more Cerberuses to get the other Jackal. Opening a Jackal helps the combo a lot. You don't have to re rely on the Electrum effect to play through Hand Trap. So if Electrum gets interrupted, we're talking about an FTK here that plays through Hand Trap, which is insane. This is almost unheard of. Most FTKs lose to one Hand Trap. This FD is, is not one of them because Jackal will always protect the FTK, which is insane. And going second, you just play a normal Pendulum deck. It's not like it loses going second. And you still have the Borals, the Nightmare cards. It's just a normal Pendulum deck going second. Uh, it's honestly insane. Uh, like, and they ask the servers who gives a shit, and a lot of times you go Servant first, you don't Servers right off the bat. If you open uh, Servant and Cerberus, Servant first. And a lot of times you can start using the special summon the, the Cerberus if you need to, because a lot of times it's just a mythical beast that, uh, any mythical beast you need to store counters. So you want a little more than you can. It doesn't break, if they, you don't ask for it, you go Servant first. So they're never gonna actually ask the, the Cerberus, you do it after. And it's not a brick in your hand, you special summon a lot of usually. Double Dark Worm 1 gate 0. You don't want to open the Dark Worm. I'm telling you right now, Dark Worm is a brick if you open it. It just does it's a normal, it's a pendulum. I make a normal summon in theory, but I always love saving my normal summon for using Pendulum Call on Time Gazer. Time Gazer is the best magician in this deck. Because you normal Time Gazer and your servant can't get Ghost Ogre. So now the whole combo plays through Ghost Ogre all the time. So now it, it, the only thing you can ash is a servant, but you have so many spells, 22 to be exact, the servant will resolve through ash twice. So, if, and if you use Pen Call to get Time Gazer, now Ghost Ogre doesn't affect your thing either. Because it'll protect Servant from Ghost Ogre, and then Jackal will protect Electrum from Ghost Ogre. So, Time Gazer is absolutely remarkable in this deck. Uh, the 1 Gazer, 2 Harmonizing, 1 Oath, 1 Pit, 1 Gazer. Those are the only magicians you need whatsoever. Anything else too much. Harmonizing actually isn't that necessary in this deck, but it's there in case you get hand trapped up the ass to go normal Pendulum uh, combo. And Oath is amazing. Oath and Pit is just so great in this deck. Uh, sometimes you're not gonna resolve Oath, but you want a low scale to search just in case. 
but usually the whole skill is going to be Servant anyways, if you guys see the combo. One Endymion, a lot of times you can still play through Impermanence if you have, if you're able to get Endymion out on board, uh, you can still play through Impermanence sometimes. The Pseudo and one Zephyros. The only difference in this deck from the normal Pendulum deck is one Zephyros. Zephyros is amazing to draw, I'm telling you right now. Uh, you just Pendulum Summon it and you get a free monster. And on top of that, in a deck that re relies on spell counters, it gives you a free spell counter because you bounce the scale activated again. And just one Zephyros, like, there's no bricks. If you the Pseudo you're playing normally, and it's a free summon, and Zephyros is a free summon. They're just free summons. It's great. Triple Mastery, Triple Serving, those six card best cards in the deck. Five pen calls, uh, two pen call, three lines. Five, uh, that's all you need. Uh, pen calls are so amazing because just you now you play. Uh, I never thought I'd say this, but you play nine time gazers. <laughs> so it is like I said, this deck plays two hand traps like nothing, except for drool, <laughs> except for drool. But uh, it doesn't matter. Like you have nine, nine time gazers. So make sure ghost ogre is useless, Valor is useless because your servant's gonna come out. Ash is useless because because if you ask servant, I'm just gonna resolve it again, and I don't even need ash to resolve a uh, servant to resolve. Because if you ask servant, who gives a shit? If you have permanence uh, electrum, you lose. You have to literally know what I'm playing and save the impermanence or whatever. Veil like, apparently, Tempest is a cost. I mean, it's not a cost on the card, but I guess the old ruling, it's a cost. So you have to literally save your Veiler or Imperm whatever. You have to save your hand trap for Tempest. We don't know what I'm playing. And even if they know what you're playing and hand trap the Tempest at the end, you still have three negates after. After you FTK. Like, after you FTK, you still have three negates, which is absolutely insane. Three into the void, three allure. You want as many draw cards as possible to draw into the servant. Uh, you don't want to put upstart to give them a thousand life points. It's an FTK deck. And desires, you don't want it because if you get rid of Zephyros or Distrudo, it's much harder to do the combo. Double ravine. You need to uh, play two in case you draw one. Romulus searches the ravine, which uh, would go into at the end with Edgar Payne and LP. And uh, you can go into seal if you want, if you're, if you're getting hand trapped or whatever. But uh, if you, you want to uh, get one ravine from the spell, if you hard draw a ravine, it's great to draw. It's not a brick. Ravine is Ravine, it gives you a damn turbo card, and the card you discard replaces it itself with gate zero, and having access to the Strudo makes these cards amazing. One Foolish, Double Shrine. I will play three Shrine, but because you play Double Ravine, you basically play five Foolishes, so two Shrines all you need. And a lot of times going second, having access to both Dark Room and the Strudo is very good, because it, uh, every you're not playing Yazi Mer Mer in this deck, but no one knows that. So the second they see the Strudo on board, you go like, RESPONSE! Response, response, and you'd be a drama queen about it. And like, oh fuck, Yazi's coming. Oh shit, Yazi, man, man, I'm gonna get screwed. So you're gonna waste like a widow anchor or an impermanence on a Distrudo. So they're gonna go neg one for nothing, and you just nightmare phoenix the other interruption, and you just win. Uh, going second, you don't FTK them going second. You normal pendulum play going second. As I said in all my videos, if you guys are keeping up, this is the best side deck for every pendulum deck in the game right now. It is just perfect. Draw one and you win versus anything. You can go second in literally everything in game two and game three versus every single deck in the entire meta and you will still win. I will literally let my opponent go first. If you play Mystic Mind, draw one of these seven, you auto win. Play Sky Striker, draw one of these five and you auto win. Play True Draco, draw Rebo or Denko and auto win. Play uh, pe uh, Pendulums or Thunders. Draw Super Poly Sphere, auto win. Play Salads, draw Super Poly Denko, auto win. Yeah, and the only targets you need is Dracostalia or Violet Chimera. If they if Thunders brick and don't have a Colossus on board, you kind of just win anyways, because that means they suck. But the only time that Dracostalia is not as good as Venom is when they have a Thunder, uh, th don't have Colossus, but they br lose that. Uh, and this card gets rid of four interruptions versus Venom that gets rid of two or three. This card gets rid of four. Extra deck, Electrum, LP, Agar, Pain, Triple Burst, Sayuja, normal Pendulum deck so far. One Romulus, one Sphere. You want the Sphere there, just in case they hand trap you into Oblivion, you can still end on Vortex, Sphere, whatever, and a lot of other stuff. Tempest Magician, one Gaydark. That's how you do the combo. Uh, you go Gaydark with Agar, Pain. Check out the combo tutorial if, I have it, if you haven't already in the description. Uh, you send Zephyros and that's how you get the free spell from Zephyros and Romulus the other spell and you only need to search two spells because uh, op like the dead amount, the smallest amount of counters you'll ever have is five before you pen summon if Electrum pops Servant and have a Jackal and Servant because you'll have a Jackal and Servant with three and one count three and zero counter each sorry one and one and then you activate one scale and you'll have three and two so that's five already uh, one bouncer because if you if you ever had 7,000 damage let's say they Let's say they Baylor you, or let's say you don't open Servant and you have to get the count. Uh, oh, your only counties you can get is from Romulus and uh, Zep Romulus and Zephyros 
and Tampa has 5,500, and then uh, Jackal, sorry, and then Survey, like sometimes you can only get like 7,000, 7,500. Uh, Bouncer does 1,000 more on your opponent's turn, and Agave does 500 damage. So like, just more, like just in case you brick. Uh, Phoenix Unicorn Bolo Sword. Deck's honestly amazing. This is no clickbait. The deck's amazing, and this is the best FTK I've ever seen for Pendulum in my life. I'm gonna feature this deck a lot more. If you guys like what you see, hit the subscribe button! This is, bro, we're on a mission to hit 20,000 subscribers. So hit the subscribe button to 20,000. Let me know if you like the video, and we'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace!